As the COVID pandemic shut down our traditional clubs and music festivals this year, all over the world, many DJs and bands have gone to social media and streaming to get their new music heard and to interact with their audience on a whole new level. While festivals and industrial dark wave scene have been popping up all over the place the last six months, we wanted to do something that would stand out and help break down barriers for many artists. So we created Too Dark Halloween. This Halloween. from the band Spank the Nun, and I teamed up with two of the top shows in Dark Wave and Industrial, Dark Indulgence with DJ Scott Duran and Communion After Dark to bring the fans a showcase of quality performances and help push the medium to the next level with high production values. We made the call out to some of our closest friends and brought together a diverse and talented group of artists and DJs from all over the world. From newer dark wave acts like Echo Barrel and Sin, to familiar faces like Angel Spit, Oots Oots, Z War Machine, and legends like Curse Mackey and Imperion, and brand new bands like Spank the Nut. But one of the bands that fans went crazy for the most was ESA.
While bands like Angel Spit and Larva jumped into streaming early on, other bands were doing it for the first time. French Cold Wave act Echo Barrel brought us an intimate and personal performance, taking us through their new album, The Awakening of a Mutant Girl, showcasing their new tracks and their single, A Prey. The crowd loved them as they showcased their new dark sci-fi and 80s horror influence vibe. While on the other hand, we had crowd favorite and member of legendary bands like My Life with the Thrill Kill Cult, Evil Mothers, and Pig Face, the charismatic Curse Mackey brought us a killer dark electro performance like only a master of performance can bring. Oh, 
It isn't easy performing without a crowd in front of you when you were used to feeding off of their energy. So when Dark Wayback Sign brought us her performance, viewers were stunned at the level of detail and passion in it. You could swear she was performing for a packed house. Sign certainly found new fans that night. Well, you know, it's Halloween and all, and it's a very special time for all of us. And you know, sometimes we need some enhancements, <laughs> liquid or otherwise. And you know, sometimes it's what people like you for. Another favorite of the evening was Oots Oots, performing their first streaming show ever. They brought their unique brand of the sexy electro beat.
New Dark Electro act Spank the Nun showcased their new album with a performance that spanned two states. With each of the members in different cities, they brought a high level of energy and a new dimension to what performing for a streaming audience could look like. The fans were excited to hear the live performance of their hit track, Dominate. Cyberpunk electro industrial legends Angel Spit showcased tracks from their newly released album Ignorance Cartel, bringing the same mayhem and energy that only they bring to a live show. Something like COVID will never stop this band from bringing the mayhem and rocking. <laughs>
DJs from all over the world, representing Germany, the UK, the US, and more. Featuring fan favorites like Jason Banger from God Module, they kept the energy going all night long. From the avant-garde, Alex Assimilate, who uses video just as much as the songs to set the mood, to newcomers like Insert Scary Name Here from Germany, who has taken Twitch by storm this year. And the pillar of the industrial scene, DJ Scott Duran, held it down with a killer rooftop set from the best new beats. Hi, this is Julia from Electrotherapy and you are listening to Scott Durant. Opening the festival and then coming back later in the evening to round out the night was legendary band Imperium, famous for their popular remixes and production over the years. They wrapped it all up with their fan favorite, Firestarter. Killer visuals topped off their performance for something you did not want to miss. Overall, it was a very successful night as fans got to see many of their favorite bands for the first time this year. The fans were engaged during the entire 12 hour festival. They were always cheering the bands and the DJs on and showing their support. 
So what's next for the team behind Too Dark Halloween? Well, it's Too Dark New Year's Evil, of course. We're planning to bring in new acts and more killer DJs from all around the world to the new show. We know it'll be something you will like. See you soon and keep it dark.